Welcome to Creepy Pasta Theater, a show where we explore the strange world of creepy pasta. Join us as we hear tales best left untold, travel roads best left unexplored, and see sights best left unseen. There is something both frightening and fascinating about places that have been abandoned. As a matter of fact, there's even a term for this feeling, and that is canopsia. This word comes from the Dictionary of Obscure Sorrows, and it is described as the eerie, forlorn atmosphere of a place that's usually bustling with people but is now abandoned and quiet. A school hallway in the evening, an unlit office on a weekend, vacant fairgrounds, an emotional after image that makes it seem not just empty, but hyper empty. With a total population in the negative who are so conspicuously absent they glow like neon signs. In this episode, we will take a look at three short creepypastas about abandoned places. These stories can be found on creepypasta.wikia.com and are protected by Creative Commons License. Birchville's Abandoned Graveyard There's an old deserted graveyard that's somewhere in Birchville, South Dakota, where people once buried their dead, but no longer due to some odd things happening there. It was once a place where the town would bury their departed loved ones from the 1880s, to the early 1910s until, according to some, a few supernatural hauntings happened. Some of those who were buried at the graveyard were Lakota civilians who were massacred during the wars between the United States and the Plains Indians in the 19th century. A couple of them were Lakota warriors who died trying to defend their families. Because of this, some would venture into the graveyard at night and would claim they saw what looks like a really angry-faced dog soldier with a tomahawk and a Winchester rifle. Of course, there were some who were skeptical of the haunting and a couple of teens from the town went to the place on a dare, as kids would do. One of the teens dared a boy to stay in the graveyard overnight to see if he could prove himself brave, so he stayed there for a night. The next day, they had to make a search party for him since he hadn't shown up for school and his family was worried. The teens, feeling guilty and in fear, told the adults that they went to the graveyard and dared him into going in. When the townsfolk got to the graveyard, they found the boy hanging from a tree, gutted with his entrails on the ground while the top of his head was sculpted. This was one of the reasons that led to the graveyard being abandoned. Another instance was a rumor about some type of devil creature wandering nearby and that it didn't appear there until some strange looking woman started going up there. She always appeared to carry some type of strange looking book. There were rumors that she was a witch and people simply dismissed the whole thing as only that, a rumor. But those who would sometimes venture there, 
usually heard some type of cackling, and sometimes cloven, hoof-shaped prints would appear in the ground and snow. No one knows what happened to the so-called witch. She disappeared just like she appeared. But the ghost of the dog soldier and the demon weren't the only paranormal sightings in the area. Some people said they could see the Grim Reaper whenever they watched someone getting buried. Sometimes, death would point towards someone, and that person would die. Sometimes, he pointed to the old, and later on, he decided to point to the younger people. In 1908, one such person was a bright and healthy kid who saw death, pointing at him during his grandfather's funeral, and later on he died in the First World War. Another man got his face kicked and trampled by a horse when he tried to ride after he saw the Reaper. Basically, Seeing death at a graveyard beckoning you was always seen as an omen and also a death sentence. After that, the graveyard was abandoned and a new one was made. The old graveyard is not on the map due to all the bad luck associated with it, but there will always be people trying to go look for it. And if they do, they will most likely be cursed and haunted for the rest of their lives. Abandoned Library Books, books, books. There is one library somewhere in Bristol, Massachusetts that has a very special kind of book. The kind that should never be unearthed. Fly to Bristol. Go to a local tourist booth. There will be a blonde woman with emerald green eyes and pale skin. Make sure it's her. If it's anyone else, try again later. Go up to this woman and say this. I know what you've hid. The time has come and will go. Provide me the knowledge which will sustain my health or abolish it away. After saying this, she should start to frown and shake her head. In the event that she doesn't, close your eyes and whisper, Protector of God, Help me in my desperate time of need, for if you do, my life is yours. Otherwise, she will open the door to the booth and lead you through an underground tunnel system. It may seem like days, but you must linger on or you will be trapped in the underground system, walking aimlessly for a way out. Finally, there will be a dark red door. Open it and make your way into the library. Now you're inside the abandoned library. The condition of the library will look brand new and well conditioned. Everywhere you look, books will be stacked, layered and placed. This is your time to begin looking. The book you are looking for is one that has the title The Healer. Look everywhere. You have exactly two hours to look for this book before the building collapses, crushing your tiny body to dirt. If you've managed to find it, open it and browse it carefully. If you don't find the book, an elderly man with no eyes will appear and laugh. The building will shake violently and begin to break down, crumbling to the floor. You will be crushed to death and surely unrecognizable. 
once you've looked through the book, locate five certain illnesses, diseases, or viruses you wish to annihilate. You only have five choices, so choose wisely for when you do, they will all be gone. After choosing, a young man will appear before you. He is the healer. Tell him your five choices. He will nod and put his hand on your shoulder saying, My child, need not worry. Your wishes will transpire. If he says nothing, you will wake up in your room as amnesiac. Watch as he loudly chants and makes hand gestures. As he puts his hand down, you will feel extremely sick. So sick that you can't move at all. This feeling means that your wishes have come true and that those certain sicknesses have been removed. You will never hear about anyone getting infected or dying from any of these sicknesses. But there is a catch. Although those have been taken away, you must never return to the library. If you try to, you will drop dead on sight. The coroner will find no cause of death, and your body will be taken to the depths of hell by the devil's spawn. The Decaying Mall Credited to Royal Sovereign There is a dead mall somewhere in Virginia that is in an advanced state of decay. For one reason or another, the mall still stands. There have been several plans, some of them quite elaborate, to revitalize the area many of them calling for the original building's demolition, but none of them have ever come to pass. It is quite a shame, a sorry thing to look at today. In its heyday, in the 1970s and early 80s, the mall was jam-packed, the place to be on the weekends, especially Saturday nights. It was upscale, fashionable, and always a happy place to go. Years went by, and bigger, better malls opened around the city. The mall slowly started losing popularity, until today is completely empty. If you go in it nowadays, you will be astounded by the vast emptiness. Every step you make, and every word you speak will echo loudly. Where once scores of people did their shopping, met for lunch, and got together, there is now only eerie silence. Over the years, the happy, upbeat feeling of the place has darkened more and more. Until now, Many people avoid it, but can never tell you exactly why. The story would end here, were it not for a very curious rumor. It is said on certain Saturday nights throughout the year, something very strange happens. If you go to one of the entrances of this mall, it will be unlocked. Push open the door and it will give way, and you may enter. Near a bench right in the entrance will be a shadowy figure, casting a shadow that obscures the darkness around it. This shadowy figure can be spoken to. Call out to it. I know your secret, and the secrets you keep. Where once there was a shadow, there will appear a face, a radiantly pale, withered old man's face, with black holes for eye sockets. Now, 
he will respond in a voice that will be like the slithering of maggots. For I know yours. He will then ask a question. The question will be about your life, or rather, a detail about your life, something that happened many years ago. The question he poses will be one you should know the answer to, but so obscure, it will be difficult to answer at first, if you can answer it at all. You will be forced to answer. You simply won't be able to respond with, I don't know. If you get the answer right, the shadowy man will thrust a box into your hands before dissolving back into the darkness. Open the box and there will be a note on which will be written the name of the person you were meant to marry or fall in love with. Only rarely is it the person you think it will be. If you get the answer wrong, your body will be found in the morning of the following Sunday at the entrance to the mall you came in, mutilated and eviscerated so badly, no one will be able to identify the body. You have been listening to a presentation of Point of Insanity Game Studio. Visit us on the web at poigamestudio.com. Follow us on Twitter at POI Game Studio. Look us up on Facebook and email us at POI Game Studio at gmail.com.